Hello, um, thanks for your talk today. Um, I'd like to ask you about Europe, something that you're well known as for campaigning against the European Union and European integration um, in the past. Um, why, why do you think left-wing Euroscepticism is currently being out overshadowed by sort of UKIP and Tory backbenchers? And what are your views on the referendum? And would you support withdrawal? Well, my view on Europe is very simple. We had this bloody war, which cost millions of lives, and then we had to decide how we reacted to Europe. And I took the view that having fought them, we should now work with them and cooperate. And that was my first thought about it. Then when I saw how the European Union was developing, it was very obvious that what they had in mind was not democratic. I mean, in Britain, you vote for a government and therefore the government has to listen to you. And if you don't like it, you can change it. But in Europe, all the key positions are appointed, not elected. The uh, Commission, for example, all appointed, not one of them elected. And the way that Europe has developed is that the bankers and the multinational corporations have got very powerful positions. And if you come in on their terms, they will tell you what you can and cannot do. And that is unacceptable. And my view about the European Union has always been, not that I'm hostile to foreigners, but I'm in favour of democracy. And I think out of this story, we have to find an answer, because I certainly don't want to live in hostility to the European Union, but I think they're building an empire there, and they want us to be a part of that empire, and I don't, I don't want that. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's my argument. 